Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got a very exciting brand new episode in my very popular ongoing video series. Top upcoming 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray movies and TV series releases, big movie announcements, reveals, collector's film chat episode number 26. Now let me tell you, I've got some big surprises and treats in this video to share with you. I've got some hidden studio insider information about some big titles that I'm gonna be sharing some of that studio insider information in this video with you, letting you know some of the info I'm privy to about titles that are being worked on with 4K restorations that are planned for later releases later this year and into next year, some of these. And let me tell you, these are exciting announcements. Now, if you wanna get caught up on all the latest and greatest news on physical media releases, you'll wanna stay up to date on all these videos. The previous video in this series always picks up directly where this one starts, so the last this one ends on the date that this one picks up and starts from. So if you want some of the previous big announcements, some hidden things, always go back and watch all the videos in this series before this. There's a ton of things from announcements from all over the world that you're not going to want to miss out on knowing about. Now to start off with, I'm going to share with you some of my exciting Studio Insider information to give you a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes of some of the 4K restorations that I've learned about that are being worked on for future 4K releases. Now, one of these I just recently shared here on my Twitter account, which is 4K Blu-ray Reviews. If you don't follow me on there, you really need to follow me on there as well, so that way you get all of my announcements I announce on there as well. But one of the ones I just recently talked about is Blade 2 and Blade Trinity, or Blade 3 as some like to call it, is purportedly being worked on with a brand new 4K digital restoration for an intended 4K release later this year. I can tell you this is hugely exciting news. It's something I've been harping on for years, hoping they would do, that they would go back and finish the original Blade trilogy with Wesley Snipes. And thankfully, it seems like they're gonna be doing that here later this year with a 4K release. So this is huge news. I was really excited. I actually couldn't contain my excitement. And I shared that on my Twitter the second I started learning about that. But that is something that I'm hugely looking forward to. Because the original Blade movie that I reviewed in my alternative superhero 4K video that release was a very good 4K release. And so this is something I'm really looking forward to. I love the Blade series. I really think Blade 3, Blade Trinity actually, was the start of kind of Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool character. I kind of in my mind play it off that way. Even though Blade Trinity wasn't as good as Blade 2 or Blade 1, I still think they were all great. They have a lot of nostalgia for me. They do have a lot of like kickbacks to 90 solid action films and Blade 2 had some great horror vampire elements in it. Man, I'm looking forward to these. These are gonna be really exciting upcoming 4K releases. Now, some additional Studio Insider information that I need to give you an update on is the 1984 The Terminator. James Cameron's Terminator film that I previously announced is actually coming out on 4K Ultra HD in the previous Aliens, Abyss, and True Lies compilation complete guide video. I had a hidden announcement in there about not only Terminator, but Terminator 2 are actually being worked on with new 4K digital restorations. Well, I got some more additional information I wanna share with you about these. So for the Terminator, it's actually going to be coming out in theaters with this new 4K digital restoration in a very limited theatrical run at basically very limited select theaters for its 40th anniversary. Then following that, it's going to be coming out on 4K Ultra HD later this year. So it is exciting to learn that this is actually going to be coming out finally on 4K Ultra HD with a brand new 4K digital restoration because this is something I've been requesting for many years. Now for Terminator 2, that's something that's going to be later on. My understanding is, is that that's still being worked on, that there's still some things they're ironing out on that one. So that's why it seems like the only thing that they're talking about that I'm hearing about right now is actually the Terminator from 1984. That's the one that's actually getting a re-release, limited re-release in theaters, and then it's actually going to be followed up with that with a 4K Ultra HD release later this year. So huge exciting news there. I wanted to make sure to share that update with all of you so that way you know what's happening in the industry. And I always try to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest news. 
Now, as always, it's very important. If you're gonna buy or add any of these 4Ks I announce or reveal in these videos, make sure to always go down and use those direct Amazon sale links I pinned as a pinned comment in the comment section right below. Those links down there never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra, but by simply clicking on those links, it shows your support of these videos and all this time and work I put into constantly creating all this content here on my channel. I'm not sponsored and I'm not paid by any of these studios. The only way I can always continue to do this is always with you, my viewers and subscribers support by clicking on those direct Amazon sale links down there below. Now, starting off here on April 2nd, we're getting Major League from 1989. It's the baseball sports comedy classic. I absolutely love the film. My wife and I actually say it's one of our favorite baseball films of all time. We have watched it so many times. There's lines you can memorize and we are hugely excited about this release. Well, it is coming out with a brand new 4K restoration for its 35th anniversary. Holy cow, it's been 35 years since this film came out does make me feel old. But it's also getting a Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master, and it's releasing in two different flavors. We're getting a limited edition steelbook and a standard 4K case. Now I can tell you this title is not being sent out for review to any reviewers. I have it on order, both the limited edition steelbook and the standard case. I am planning on doing a review on this once it actually arrives from the retailers that I ordered it from, but it is something that I won't have it in before the release date because Paramount did let me know they were not sending it to any reviewers for review. So this is a title I have to wait to get it for review, just like all the rest of you, and then I'll dive into it and do the review here on my channel. So if you're wanting to pre-order or buy either of the editions, whether the standard or limited edition, I always put all of the different editions as that pinned comment in the comment section right below. Continuing April 2nd, we're getting La Haine. Now this is from the Criterion Collection, and this is for the 1995 film. It is getting a brand new 4K digital master with both Dolby Vision and HDR10. Now this is not one of those films I've had the time to experience yet, so it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. Now, sharing a little bit more of my Studio Insider information, I told you I'd hide a little things in this video here. Well, another big release that's purportedly being worked on is the 1987 Lethal Weapon with Mel Gibson and Danny Glover in it. My understanding is this has been worked on for the last couple of years. I actually talked about it last year, at the beginning of last year, that I had heard that it was starting to be worked on. This is something that has taken a while though, because it obviously hasn't been released yet. But it is purportedly being worked on with a brand new 4K digital restoration for an eventual 4K release. Now, something I don't know is if it's going to be in a box set with all four films, or if it's just going to be on its own. The only thing I've actually heard about is the first film itself from 1987. I would love it if it was all in a box set, and if I find out that it is coming in a complete box set, I always announce those as soon as I possibly can on my Twitter, and then I'll announce them in these videos later on. So if you want the information as fast as possible, make sure to follow me on my Twitter at 4K Blu-ray Reviews, but as far as this one goes, I love the Lethal Weapon series. It actually deserved to be on 4K a long time ago. Now, hopefully with the time that they're taking to do this, that it will come out looking absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully it'll have an amazing Dolby Atmos mix, but I don't know the specs yet on it. Once I get all those specs and things, as always, I'll share all that latest and greatest news with all of you. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, moving ahead to April 9th, we're going to be getting The Roundup No Way Out, the sequel. Now, I did previously review this here on this channel. Actually, the last few days ago, I previously reviewed this. This was sent quite a bit early for review from the studio. I dived into it, let you know the quality of this. That video is available right now on this channel, and I can tell you, I did over eight 4K versus Blu-ray comparisons in there, diving into all of the major releases that came out over the last couple of weeks, letting you know the quality of each and every one of those 4K releases. If you have not checked out that massive review video, it's available right now on this channel. I did it and compiled it all so you have all of the data, you can see all the image comparisons for yourself, but this is one of those releases we are getting on April 9th and it was an enjoyable film. Now, continuing same day and date, we're getting King Kong from 1976. Now, this is getting a brand new 4K restoration in a limited edition steelbook set only. Now, I always try to let you know when these are only being released in limited edition sets. This is one of those. There is no standard separate release by Paramount later on. It's only coming in a limited edition steelbook. Once it sells out, it will be gone. 
Now, my understanding from Paramount is this has had new work done on this 4K restoration. So, this will be a new 4K restoration. Understanding is, is it's different than the Studio Canal release. So, we will see differences, I'm assuming, bit rates, compression, obviously how the image looks, film grain, all of that. So, I am excited to check this one out, though this is another one that Paramount did let me know when I requested it. They are not sending this for review to any reviewers anywhere worldwide. They did say that this is one of those titles that's simply not being sent out for review. So I did go and order a copy for all of you so that way I could test it and review it for all of you here on my channel. But I do have to wait for that to show up around the release date. So my review will probably be after the release date most likely because this is one of those that I simply won't be getting in early for review. Though I will tell you on this release, it's going to include both the theatrical cut and the extended extended TV cuts of the film. Those are all going to be included in this set as well. So we'll get multiple cuts and I'm excited to check this one out because this is one of those classic 70s films that I've always really enjoyed. It has a lot of nostalgia factor for me, the big like creature feature and I love the kind of animatronics. Heck, I remember going on the original ride at Universal and it had the big animatronic King Kong. I always thought that was incredibly awesome. So that mirrored directly from this film. So I'll be excited to check this one out on 4K and see how the quality turns out. Now, continuing April 9th, we're getting from the Criterion Collection, Picnic at Hanging Rock. Now, this is the 1975 film. It is getting a brand new 4K digital restoration that was supervised and approved by the original director, Peter Weir himself. And this is along with a brand new HDR10 color grading and master. This is one of those films that's kind of grown more in cult status over the years, so this one will be cool to check out. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know what of these announcements or reveals, what of these you're excited for, what of these you're pre-ordering through the links down there. Make sure to share your excitement with me in the comment section. You know, I do this and I share what I'm excited with, but I love to hear from all of you what you're excited for as well. So make sure to take some time and comment down below what you're excited about about all of these announcements from this video. I always love to hear from all of you. Now, continuing same day and date, we're getting Lost in Space, the 1998 remake film of the original TV series that was kind of reboot starting its own universe that it ended up being just a one-off film. I will tell you I am a sucker for this film. I have watched this film probably 15 times. It's not perfect, but I will tell you in the 90s when I saw this, I absolutely loved it. Went to see it in cinemas actually twice. Now this is coming out from Shout Factory as a collector's edition release. And it did get a brand new 2K scan of the Interpositive, but it's being released on Blu-ray only. There is no 4K release in my understanding from the studio. It's because they were only able to do a 2K scan of the Interpositive so therefore they felt that the limitations being only on 1080p was about the max they could do for that so that's why it's being released on blu-ray i am interested to see if this is going to be a massive upgrade over the previous blu-ray the previous blu-ray was fine though it had a soft image and it did have some digital noise banding and there was even some blocking in it so i'll be curious if this is actually a big upgrade because it is one of those kind of like i don't know if i want to call it guilty pleasures but honestly i don't feel guilty about it i just enjoy the film for what it is it's a fun sci-fi ride and back in 1998 i thought i had some pretty darn cool special effects i will tell you for this collector's edition blu-ray it is coming with some brand new interviews and some brand new special features so there is some new things they're adding to it as well to add to the value of it. I do have this on pre-order. It's not being sent for a review. So it is something I went and actually ordered for myself because it is one of those, like I said, I do enjoy it. And I'm hoping that it's actually an upgrade. Now, continuing April 9th, we're getting a massive TV series release in DC Comics Doom Patrol, the final season and a complete series box set on Blu-ray. Now this DC Comics superhero TV series ran for four seasons from 2019 to 2023, and the complete series box set has a massive runtime of 2,298 minutes. There's a ton of content in it. Now I will put the direct Amazon pre-order links for both the complete series box set and the individual seasons for this show in case you haven't picked those up yet. Now I will tell you, this is a very adult TV series. There is tons of language, sexual content, some really extreme violence. There's even some horror episodes. It's very over the top. Don't think of it as a lighthearted Marvel or even a lighthearted DC. It is not. 
It is a very, very adult TV series, but it is one of those series that finally it's completed its run and is releasing with a massive Blu-ray box set. Though I will answer this question. There is no 4K release planned for this series at all in the future. It is only on Blu-ray, and this is the only way we're gonna be able to own and watch this. Now, moving ahead to April 16th, we are finally getting Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, the final season on 4K Ultra HD. Now, I previously reviewed the previous seasons in an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review here on this channel. That's available right now. If you want my thoughts on the series, which is absolutely wonderful, I think the series is so well written. It's got some amazing action set pieces and is really a throwback to some great 90s filmmaking. Honestly, they do a great job with this series. It's a serious surprise and I've really enjoyed it. Well, we're getting the final season on 4K as well as a complete series 4K set. So it'll have all four seasons that I previously reviewed and this final season in one box set, or if you're like me and you bought them each season individually, you'll be able to buy it separately as the individual final season like what I'm doing. So that way I have all of the seasons individually, but I'll put both pre-order links down below depending on whether you want the individual seasons or whether you're wanting the big box set but if you haven't checked out my full in-depth analysis and comparison review, you wanna check that out. I tell you a lot about the series, why it's so great, show you image comparisons and images from the series and why it's such an awesome TV series. But if you want something that really has some great acting, some great action that really is a throwback to the 90s, you really need to do yourself a favor and check out this awesome TV series. And I'll tell you, this is coming out as a native 4K with HDR10 and Dolby Vision and English Dolby Atmos audio mix. And I can tell you on those previous reviews, the audio has been pretty darn great on these releases. So I'm very excited to see if this final season holds up to the previous ones. I'm assuming it will because all the previous three seasons have been pretty darn amazing. Now, continuing same day and date, we're getting High Noon, the Gary Cooper 1952 classic Western film. It has Grace Kelly in it. I absolutely love this Western film. It is one of my top 20 favorite Western films of all time. And I can tell you for this release, it's getting a brand new 4K scan of the original 35 millimeter camera negative along with a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. Now, Kino Lorber did reach out to me and let me know this should be coming to me early for review for me to dive into and test for all of you. This is one of those releases I'm hugely excited for. As most of you know, if you follow me here on my channel and you've watched any of my previous Western 4K reviews, I absolutely love Western movies and Western TV series. And this is one of those that, if done right, it's gonna look outstanding for a classic Western black and white film. I am so excited to check this one out and review this. I just hope it looks good on 4K. So fingers crossed that this one turns out good. Now, continuing same day and date, we're getting Workmeister Harmonies from 2000. Now this is coming from the Criterion Collection and it's getting a brand new 4K digital restoration supervised and approved by the original director. So this is one of those I've never seen, never experienced, but it is coming out from the Criterion Collection and I know there's a lot of folks that are very excited for this. Now, continuing April 16th, we're getting Jack Ryan, the ultimate five movie 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray collection. Now, I previously reviewed this in my top 90s movies, must own 4K Ultra HD releases video series. I did episode one and episode two. They've been hugely popular and they're available right now on this channel. They're by decade, the best 4K releases by decade. Well, they're re-releasing it now with a brand new 4K release of the same box set. So now it's back available again. I'll put that direct Amazon sale link down there below. But if you're wanting my full testing analysis, the images and what the quality is of all the films in this box set, you need to check out my top 90s must own movies video series. Both episode one and episode two are available right now. And let me tell you, there is a massive amount of great films from the 90s that are must own 4Ks that in that video series, I cover all my testing data on them and let you know what of those you need to have in your collection. Now, continuing same day and date, we're getting Fletch and Fletch Lives. Now, these are the Chevy Chase films from 1985 and 1989. They are great comedies. I actually think they're some of the best work he did. They are coming out as special edition Blu-ray releases. And both films received brand new 2K restorations from their interpositives along with 
new audio commentaries and special features. I will tell you these are ones I'm really excited for. Now again, these are just like the Lost in Space releases. They are brand new 2K restorations, but they're only being released on Blu-ray because my understanding is, is they think there's only so much of an upgrade to that 1080p, which is why, because it's a 2K scan, they decided to release them only on Blu-ray in these special edition releases. Now, these are something that Kino Lorber did say is being sent to me early for review, so I should be getting those in early for me to dive into and test for all of you. I can tell you I'm excited for them. Yes, I do wish they were on 4K, but I do understand that basically cost and basically what they thought the upgrade would only be so pronounced that they felt that 1080p was the max that it should be put on, so that's what it's being released on. Now, the previous Blu-ray releases were always a very soft and dull and muted experience, so hopefully these new Blu-rays with this new 2K restoration they did, hopefully it fixes all of that and provides a very nicely detailed image. I'll be interested to test these out because like I said, I always enjoyed the films. It's just the previous Blu-ray releases were just so darn poor. Now, another big release we're getting on April 16th is Star Trek Lower Deck Season 4. Now, if you follow me here on my channel, I am a massive Star Trek fan and nerd. I absolutely love all Star Trek. Now, if you haven't checked out any of my previous Star Trek reviews, I reviewed all the 4K releases, the 4K TV series. Literally, there's tons of videos here on this channel to check out about everything Star Trek on 4K. I can tell you I love the Star Trek Lower Decks TV series. It's an animated adult comedy TV series that really, it harkens to all the like memories of Star Trek while adding some humor in. If you have not checked this series out yet as an adult, it is very well written. It is funny and enjoyable. I'll put the links for all the seasons one through season four down below if you have not checked it out yet. It does not cost much, but I will tell you it has so many nods and little things to Star Trek's history that man, you'll laugh the whole way through and just have a good time watching this series. And to answer the question, is this ever going to be released on 4K? There's no plans by Paramount to release any of the Star Trek lower decks on the 4K. It seems like they're doing the Star Trek Strange New Worlds as I've been reviewing those here on this channel. Those have all been released on 4K those seasons, but anything that seems to be previously released on Blu-ray like Star Trek Lower Decks or Star Trek Discovery, which I'm not really a fan of Discovery, but anyhow, as far as Star Trek Lower Decks goes and things, they're not planning on releasing it on a 4K release later on. So buying them on Blu-ray, I don't really think we're ever gonna double dip really on these later on because it is simply a Blu-ray release only. Now in each of these videos, I always try to jump ahead and give some special announcements of some big things that are coming out in a month or two from now. And I always try to incorporate these at the end to give you some extra special stuff that's coming out here in the future. Well, we are getting Dune Part 2 in actually three different flavors. We're getting it in a limited edition steelbook set, which will sell out. It is truly limited edition. Warner Brothers said they will not print anymore once they sell out. I'll put the limited edition steelbook down there below as well as the standard 4K case. And then we're also getting a two movie 4K collection. In the two movie 4K collection, it's simply the 4K cases with the 4K discs, not steelbook sets. So in that set, it will not be of the steelbook releases. So if you're wanting that limited edition steelbook set, which I really like the artwork on, it's only available as that limited edition steelbook set, not in the two movie collection they're planning. And I can tell you these are coming out as native 4Ks and they are going to have both Dolby Vision and HDR10 on them. And they are going to have English Dolby Atmos audio mix. Now, hopefully these are even better than the original Dune release. I did review that previously here on this channel quite a while back. I did enjoy it. And actually, since I've watched it numerous times since my original review, it has grown on me. I actually think that the new Dune series sci-fi elements they're going for, I've actually grown to like it even more the more I've watched it. Now, originally in that review, I did say that I enjoyed it, but I kind of liked David Lynch's Dune a little more. Now I actually have changed slightly with more views, and I actually think that this new Dune has so much more going for it that I do feel like now seeing Dune 2, it's expanded upon it so much more that now it does kind of leave David Lynch's slightly in the past, and I really do see that now with what he's going for with Dune 2 and then obviously Dune Part 3, I really do like the universe building and how much they're adding to this in additional story elements. And I really do like the special effects on this. So this is a hugely exciting release. I'll put the pre-order links for every single one of these down below. Now, another big release we're getting on May 14th is American Sniper, the Clint Eastwood biopic film that is absolutely wonderful. I love the film. It does have obviously the baby in it, if you know what I mean. 
But I absolutely love the film. It's such a well-written, well-acted film that really incorporates you into the mindset and life of the true story of the sniper. It just really does a great job of showing you things that a lot of us just really don't know about because we don't live that life and don't experience those things. Now, this is coming out in a limited edition steelbook and in a standard 4K case. I'll put both sets down below. I will tell you the limited edition steelbook is the one I'm excited for. I actually think the limited edition steelbook has way better artwork on it than the standard case that you're seeing above. Personally, the limited edition steelbook for me is the way to go, but that's up to you. Whichever one you want to pre-order, I'll put both down there below. I can tell you this is getting a brand new 4K restoration by Warner Brothers, and it is going to have HDR10 and English Dolby Atmos audio mix on it. I can tell you that new English Dolby Atmos audio mix, if done correctly for a war film like this, man, with the helicopters and the sniper bullets and all of the effects like grenade explosions. I can tell you this could end up being one of those awesome reference quality Dolby Atmos audio mixes. I'm hugely excited to test out and review this one. I should be getting this one in early for review just like with Dune. I should get that in early for review as well and I can tell you I'm hugely excited for this. I am a big war movie sucker. If you haven't checked out my top 10 war movies on 4K Ultra HD video, that's available right now on this channel. I dived into and tested out all of the kind of true story war films. That video is specifically about true stories for war films, not made up basically things that have nothing to do with reality. So that video is to honor, and if you watch the beginning of the video, I explain the whole purpose of that video. It's to honor a lot of those war heroes that went through all of the things that happened in those films. So if you haven't checked out that video, it's available right now on this channel as well. Now on May 14th, we're also getting Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is getting a brand new 4K scan of the original camera negative with a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master for its 35th anniversary. Again, crazy to think this was 35 years ago. Now this is coming out in two different flavors as well. We're getting a limited edition steelbook and a standard 4K case. I can tell you the limited edition steelbook has the best artwork for me. I think that limited edition steelbook with the bright pinks and purples and things on it looks really cool. So the steelbook for me is what I think looks the best. I'll put both pre-order links down below. This is one of those classic 1980s sci-fi comedy horror films mixed all together wonderfully well. If you have not experienced this film, it is a really cool film that a lot of people just really has grown in cult status over the years. Now to answer why at the end of these videos, I always kind of jump ahead to give some special announcements of future things is because some of these things are big limited edition releases that I want to make sure to bring to your attention because just like with all three of these, they all have limited edition steelbook releases that I don't want you to miss out on being able to pre-order. So American Sniper, Dune 2, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space, all three of those limited edition steelbooks will sell out. So I want to make sure you're aware of them as soon as possible. Now it's very important if you're wanting to pre-order or buy any of these limited edition releases, standard releases, I've done all the work for all of you and put the direct Amazon sale links right down there below. As always, those links down there never cost you, the viewer, a penny extra when you click on them, but they're very important to the creation of all this content and all of these reviews I create here on my channel. Simply by clicking on those links down there, it shows your support and it doesn't cost you anything to click on them. If you want to help to support these videos and this channel even more, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. It only costs you a buck or two every month, but it drastically makes a difference on me being able to create these videos. Just like I explained in this video, there's a ton of these that studios don't send for review. I have to go out and order them so that way I can get them in to test and review them for all of you. And there's a lot of times where things do not turn out well and they're bad releases. So it does cost money and takes a lot of time and work to do all that work. And the only way I can always do that is through my VIP Collectors Club and through you using those direct Amazon sale links down there below. That's why I always say this is always so important and that's why every video I try to share that because there's always new subscribers and new people watching this that I want to make sure they know that that's the only way every single week I can always do this is always through your support that I really do appreciate. It matters to me and it makes a massive difference. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below. Let me know what you're excited about. As I shared a little bit before, I love to hear about your excitement. What of all of these announcements I made in this video are you really excited for that you're gonna be excited now or finally coming out on 4K Ultra HD? As always, I truly hope every single one of you always has a blessed day. And I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.